guys, welcome to Cinema and a Snack with Anna. Rodney. Howdy, Des. <laughs> Today is our St. Patrick's Day episode. Fun fact, the initial color of St. Patrick's Day was blue. The problem with it is that blue was too expensive, so they had to go to green, which is a lot cheaper dye. The other thing is you couldn't even drink on St. Patrick's Day. So, in true traditional fashion, I'm sticking with blue. We gotta pinch him. Yeah. Alright. Wait! I'm safe. How does he do that? The world may never know. Give my pot of gold! <laughs> <laughs> so, in true um, St. Patty's Day fashion, we're sticking with the alcohol first. Then we have our chips, a special ketchup, which is made with stout, and milk and dark chocolate Irish truffles. The movie we're going to be doing today is called Grabbers. It was recommended by Ari. We're not really sure what it's about. It seems to be something about facehuggers. I don't know. Once we see the trailer for it, we'll give a review on that, and then we'll actually watch the movie and give a review for that one. So, you guys ready to start? Yeah. All right. So, in true um, St. Patty's Day fashion, we're sticking with the alcohol first. Mm. That smells like a beer. It looks like a beer. <laughs> it's got to taste like a beer. I don't believe you. It's a duck. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. That's like really smooth. Yeah. It's not bad. That's really malty. Mm -hmm. No, stout. No. It's stouty. No, I don't think you know what malt is until you drink Ichiban by yourself. Alright, <laughs> that is... Oh my gosh, that is malt up the walls. Okay, so, this <laughs> is... This is way better. This like, is pretty fun. This is really smooth. This is oh, really good. When we picked this up, there was actually two versions of it. There was this Irish red, and then there was, was a, the other one? there was a blue label and a green label as well. But they were, and I think a black label. But they were sold out of two of them. Oh. They only had the green and the red one on the shelves. A full-bodied Irish red with a traditional hop flavor to balance a sweet malt finish. Ha, malt. For beer no. drinkers out there, it's quite lovely. We chilled this in the fridge before we drank it, and it's it's very lovely. It lovely. Quiet. <laughs> what, are you my grandmother now? Sweet malt. <laughs> oh, Not great, Grandma McKinney. <laughs> <laughs> this is really smooth pour. This is just great. I don't even know. This is just good by itself. It could pair with anything, and this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like good cabbage, good rye bread, maybe even a nice cheddar fondue. Ooh, mm. oh, that mm. was so good. Good large any other ale. I gotta say, for my review. For as far as beers go, I'd give this a solid five. It's smooth, tasty, pretty much you can pair it with anything. Yeah, I'd say five animal crackers. Compared to beers, other beers I've tried, specifically Irish beers, this one gets a five. It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. Well... Good aftertaste, too. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of the best Irish beers I've ever had. Mm -hmm. I wish we would have got more now. Yeah, <laughs> like, this This was, like, really smooth and really rich. Mm -hmm. So, I give it a five. Yeah. yeah. So. And it, it's not, like, a bad rich, either. It's, no. like, it, yeah. it's happy. Yeah. Flavor, very flavorful. So, solid five. So, our next snack is Guinness Burt's Thick Cut potato crisps the original flavor i'm not actually sure if they have any other flavors but this is the only one we found at the store this i've never tried this before have you mm -mm. i have not all right so this is new for all of us this one will probably be pairing with the um the ketchup that has the stout in it there's actually a uh, relish that i guess traditional irish like it's of the 16 top irish foods you have to try i looked it up that was the one i found but we couldn't find the relish, so we actually just found the ketchup, which I guess is a s close second. Ooh. Isn't that, isn't Guinness the, like, popular Irish pint? Yes. Yeah. It, the black, that's what people call black oil. <laughs> it feels like a kettle chip. Mm -hmm. And it looks 
Almost like it has brown sugar on it. Not it, burnt, but like a, almost looks like a brown sugar. It looks like a churro up close, but it smells pretty fun. It's a Guinness chip. <laughs> All, right. All right, go. Holy butt. Forgot how to eat for a second. Wow. Now it's like delicious. That mm. almost has like a an aftertaste of like a Pringle, but Mm-mm. bacon-y. I don't know how to describe it. That's just don't insult these chips by calling them a Pringle. No, uh, that... I, I love you, Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> no, these chips are these chips are amazing. Mm. These chips are delicious. Oh my goodness! I love food. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. It's so good. It's got like a, a almost a cinnamony flavor to it. Anyone else get that? No. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's like a little sweet. Yeah. A little bit. There's only a gram of sugar in it. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, that is really good. Mm. Nope. Beer. Beer mm. pouring. Mm. It got magic. Oh. oh. Ireland, you do it fucking right. Oh. Oh my god. Cheers to you. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh man. This is delicious. I almost don't mm-hmm. even want to, you know, try any more. Alright, that's over done. <laughs> no, let me gotta go for this. Oh wait. Animal cockroach. Oh yeah. Five. Actual rating? Five. Five all around. Five. Yeah. I think this is our like the, this is winner the... of them all. No. So this, this might be the best St. Patrick's Day ever. ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now it's the Chaos uh, Irish. Irish potato crisps. They're cheese and onion flavored. Ooh. All right. Can you see the bag? Ooh. It smells like a like a baked potato before you put it in the oven. Like a sliced up baked potato. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Ingredients list looks funny. Their ingredients list and nutrition list actually cover the normal nutrition list on the bag. So no, they put any... a sticker on it. I know. It's... Oh, okay. Basically, like, like your normal potato, sour cream and onions. Yeah. <laughs> you got an extra bonus chip on there. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go. One, two. Mmm. Mmm. These are amazing. Mm. Yeah. The Look. crunch to these this are is like fabulous. Just under what you
coffee, I'm gonna do dark first. <laughs> I'm gonna do milk first. You're gonna go on dark. Alright. Alright, I'll do dark, but that's my milk there. Okay. Dark chocolate. Bottoms up. Mmm. It's like a normal, you know, dark, or er, normal truffle thing. Where it's soft in the middle, hard on the outside. I like it. I have to. Mmm, there's the whiskey. That's fun. Mmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm hmm. With the, with the beer. Holy crap. Like, holy shit. Mm hmm. Oh, that is fun. That is fantastic. Where were you all my life? Right? <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh. I don't want to finish it. Well, you still have to try <laughs> the other later. <laughs> well, dark chocolate. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, but the dark chocolate mm. by itself, just because I don't like dark chocolate, I'd say three and a half, but that's just because I'm biased against dark chocolate. However, yes. paired with the beer, five. Easy five. Kids, if you're under 21, I am sorry that you can't try this. If you're over 21, why haven't you tried this yet? Do it. Or whatever age it's legal to drink in your country. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, so, milk. milk chocolate? I've already gotten the milk. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Cheers. Uh -huh. Same as previous one where it's this one looks a little darker in the middle. A little darker in the middle. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Same kind of soft center. Hard shell. Oh, there's the whiskey. You can taste it mm. way faster with this one. Mmm. As tradition. Mmm. Still a bit pairing. Not as much as the dark chocolate, but. It's still quite fun. I mm. still like the dark chocolate more with the beer. Yeah. I like the milk chocolate by itself. Yeah. See, I like the milk chocolate better with the beer than I do the dark chocolate, but I'm a big dark chocolate fan. Um, so I like that on its own. So I'd say overall with the dark and the milk together, I put this a four. Oh, uh, the dark chocolate for me is the winner. Awesome. Total five. The milk chocolate with the beer brings it to a five, but without the beer, it's about 4.9. Um, I like chocolate, and I like food, and I give it just a five, because I like chocolate, and I like food, <laughs> and I like beer, so I give it a five. I'm not a big fan of whiskey, but these are amazing. They're like, deli they're truffles. I mean, mm -hmm. come on, the chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> Eat them. Get them. Now. So, I gotta say, this was our best flavor snack episode we've done yet we pretty much had everything a five except for the truffles those were a four for me but everything else was awesome and i can't wait to try out this movie and see what we do we're actually going to probably be doing a drinking game with it so we're going to talk amongst ourselves just to make sure if we are or not and we'll let you know all right now that we've seen the trailer apparently this is drunk irish people Face huggers and more drunk Irish people. So what we've all decided to do in the grand tradition that is St. Patty's Day, we're making this a drinking game. So every time that there's a grabber, yeah, every time there's a grabber that attaches itself to someone's face or even lunges at them, we're drinking. So we're hopefully going to get it pretty sauce tonight. Again, this was recommended by Ari. And then the link to our store is going to be in the description below so you can check it out and get it off of the store, which is linked right off Amazon. And let's start. There's a beam of light that looks like a sperm. <laughs> oh, 
going straight into Florida because we're the wine of the U.S. Is it Florida? I don't know. No. I thought this, this was an this Irish a, movie. I was like, yeah. this is an island. Isle, not, island. He's already drunk. Cut him off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm> so excited. <laughs> Not here. Hey, Pippi Long Stockings. Fun oh. fact, that's also my porno name. Wait. Oh, Jesus. Let me just say how goddamn sexy oh. Irish accents are. <laughs> I love Irish accents. <laughs> <laughs> He has a rainbow on his ass. <laughs> he must be a leprechaun. <laughs> well, he's Irish. Is that where his pot of gold is hidden? I was gonna say. Oh, I get it. What's that? That's a dead one of those. You know how when things die, their their legs are up in the air. Yeah, got I it? got it. Foreshadowing. Ah. <laughs> uh. Did. Yeah, yeah, he just said he was gonna use the top of your knob as an ashtray. Oh. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. I think so. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. oh! I'm drinking that one. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna drink. Yeah. That was a definite grab. Uh, Thank you. Oh. Got it right up Main Street. She's naked. <laughs> Did he just run over the one guy? Oh, he fell off the bike. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 drinking. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. No. Yeah, yep, there's drink. one. Yeah. Was it a cock tease this time? It was not. Fun fact. That's how um hentai starts out. Everyone. Can I put it on eBay? Somebody in Japan eBay. would probably buy it and then somehow try to make it mechanical. Like they haven't already? <laughs> oh! That's one way to get head. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> on the dot. <laughs> no, on the nose. Oh. No. No. Pepper grinder. Oh. The lighter, not Delilah. I thought you said Delilah too. No, sweetheart. She's okay. <laughs> Celebrity again. She's a ham. Now she's bacon. Everyone wants her. That just looks like the angriest butthole with tentacles and teeth. Oh you my god, it. those teeth! Oh. Did he just lose some teeth? No, he no. threw up. Hi, can I help you? And our other celebrity tonight. <laughs> this is the cuddle whore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. Uh. Last 
one. That was actually a fifth grad, guys. I'll drink. That thing grabs him into the pit. Okay. Ready? Okay. Fifth one, drink. Two. Fifth drink. Drink. Alright, so, bravo. Bravo fucking O. Uh, that was, that was like a bra. wet, hot, drunk Tremors. If you've ever seen any of the Tremors movies, it's like that combined with drunk Irish people and things, aliens Face being grabber. wet. Yeah, aliens. Like, alien, Tremors... What else did we say? Hot Drunk Buzz. Iron. Hot Buzz. And At World's End all yeah. put together. Yeah. That, that was pretty damn good. Yeah. Oh my god. That that was really good. <laughs> go see it. Uh, Not just because we saw it, but go see it. Link in the description box. Yeah. It's kind of slow yeah. in the beginning, but it's they probably have like an awkward time trying to introduce each character, but like... As time goes on, it gets so much better. Like, like it's I, it's just really good. Like they literally climbed the mountain and they stayed up there with the flag. Yeah. Like it was that good. I yeah. was not expecting it to be that good, and I just pulled it out from like. Well, I had like four other choices too, but like <laughs> this one was probably the best out of all the other choices. This is five animal crackers. Five animal crackers, easily. Yeah. Ugh. I, especially for being an indie film, that was fantastic. I did not expect that much from an indie film, but wow, yeah, I, I think the alcohol is getting to me a little bit, but definitely, definitely see it. Like, That's the best way I can describe it: is drunk Irish, wet, hot, drunk tremors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very angry buttholes. Makes sense when you see it. Giggity. Oh, one thing though. If you do the drinking game, there wasn't as much actual face grabbing as we thought. So I would say just go for any time anyone takes a drink. Make sure you're over 21. You know, we don't condone anyone under 21 drinking. But Or whatever your country legally says. Yeah. If you're over, well, in America, if you're over 21, then and you turn this into a drinking game, I would say do it whenever anyone drinks. You'll be able to drink and enjoy a little bit more for the drinking game portion. Or any of the cock teases. You'll, you'll know when you or watch it. Or fake outs if you don't know what that means. Yeah. So, for this episode of Cinnamon and Snack, that's a wrap.